the McKees hit a dog. Ah, see? It, it makes sense. They hit a dog. And Levy was diluting oils, among other things. And Catherine said as much. See, they've been Didn't doing listen. all this. They figured all this shit out on their own without us. I watched the first season of Mr. Robot, and I kind of... I liked the first season a lot, and then I kind of just stopped watching. I think I watched, like, one episode of the second. Oh, is that the... That's the lost dog! That makes sense. That's pretty cool that it connects like that. That's... That's clever. And what's this? Evidence I haven't seen. No wonder I'm pulling at straws. Yeah, maybe if you work together with the police. Fuck. Rag with chemicals. Well, just as I thought. We saw this, though. Glass shard found at scene. There was something here. Why have they removed it? Well, this was smashed during the attack. Some of my neighbors claim to have heard it. Bard list. Harold Levy, Jennifer Margate, Henry Burton, Jim Thompson, Larry Matthews. I see that they've stolen our, our patented uh uh pin and 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 string investigation technique. Straight through the clipboard too, mind you. <laughs> that would take a lot of either it's a really thin clipboard or that would that would take it a lot of force. Shirley thinks that this Larry fellow could have been involved. Larry. He sounded too drunk when I heard him. That was the one whose shoe ended up on the rooftop, right? Outside of the um, balcony. Levy's balcony. Landlady Downs suggested Larry was behaving very odd this evening. Oh. Well, that's what I have too. That same knot. I should look a little closer at this. Robert Conway. Sarge, I know I said a lot of things about my father, but I think having him on the suspect's board is a mistake. He's a good man at heart, and he thinks he's trying to do the right thing. Let me talk to him first and see if I can convince him... To drop what he's doing, he'll listen to me, I promise. Just give me a day or two. I'd put him on the board. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. And they're just as clueless to who took her as I am. All evidence of Charlotte May is circumstantial evidence. Scene is contaminated. Circumstantial? Damn the law. They know full well what they found. We're just not allowed to act on it without more evidence. Levy tampering his oils and stealing automobiles, awaiting warrant for arrest. So, he's guilty after all. Just not for the abduction of Charlotte May by the looks of things. I hope they get that warrant soon. It looks like they have a fine coming their way. Poor dog. No wonder they tried to hide it. I think you had mentioned, Blacko, that you thought it might be a neighbor's pet that they ran over. I can't see the click on Larry. This is good stuff. The place is a gold mine for my evidence board. Or killed, yeah. Oh yeah, the poison, that's right. Catherine was right, Levy did everything illegal but kidnapped Charlotte May. Still, he's an awful man who deserves his comeuppance. Comeuppance! Love that word.
Annabelle convinced Theo to kill a dog he'd run over and injured. Oh, I see. That's why she was like, you need to take care of this dog. Yeah. She obviously didn't want to get her own hands dirty, so she gave Theo a choice, a sharp knife or a blunt mouth. And that's why there was like, they cleaned up the blood that was in the drain. Theo hit a dog with a car. He must have been too afraid to go to the police. I can only assume the car was borrowed from Levy's garage. I love these custom uh, lockpicks that we're using. We're just like finding all this random stuff. Using them as lockpicks. R? We're, we're MacGyver. The Conway. Oh my god. I take it back. I hate this. Worst minigame. Okay. This might be easier with a controller. <laughs> Oh, I don't have to hold down the button when I'm doing this. I've been holding down the left mouse button. Makes it a bit easier. Oh, H is in the middle. I can use my other hand, though. See, I thought I had to hold down the left mouse button, so I was using my left hand to hold down all the uh, keys. Oh, they're busier than I thought. Catherine's been working hard. Police report. Incident. Assault on Tony Morgan with a weapon and abduction of Charlotte May Morgan. On the evening of the 22nd of June, 1954, at 2306, I was dispatched to number three Dahlia View. On arriving at the scene, I observed that the gate to the courtyard of the premises was locked, indicating that it had either been locked back up or unused in the attack slash abduction. Okay. The courtyard I observed Dahlia View resident Mr. Tony Morgan sat up being treated by Riverport General paramedics for a head injury he sustained during the altercation. Mr. Morgan's neighbors were also at the scene and were watching on. I moved them back to a safe space and marked out the evidence that was apparent to the crime. As soon as Mr. Morgan was finished with the paramedics, I took his statement. Mr. Morgan, I was... Mr. Morgan, I was putting my rubbish out when I heard footsteps approach me. I didn't manage to turn around in time to see who it was. They hit me over the head, and the last thing I remember is stumbling a little, and then everything went black. My daughter, Charlotte May, was inside asleep. But when I gained consciousness, I ran upstairs to find her. She wasn't there, and I... Maybe she just smacked the dude and then ran away! Is that possible? Mr. Morgan was unable to finish... His sentence, and on searching his home, I was able to confirm that Charlotte May had been taken. Tony Morgan's neighbor and landlord, Hare Levy, was able to... Yeah, maybe she didn't want to come back. I can't read all this. Well, who would be calling on a Sunday morning? It might be worth answering. Oh, I guess we can only see that up to able to. Basically what the newspaper said. Now she, she moved to Mexico and she's starting a new life. Are these all kidnappings from the past? Is that a phone? William, I know Jennifer Margate is a friend of yours, but there's no way I'm letting her back in the pub. The thing she accused me of, and in front of the punters, no less. She's lucky I didn't do something I would have ended up regretting. I'm not above showing someone the back of my hand if they deserve it. I know you own the place, but you put me in charge for a reason. She's barred for life. Sorry if this offends you, but it's how I feel, and it's not going to change my mind. 
Looks like this note's been flagged by an officer. She gets more and more interesting every time. I convince you. <laughs> Good for her. Glad you're coming around, Blecko. No. 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 Of course we answer the phone. Hello, the crow's nest. Oh, thank God. I was worried Shirley might answer. My name's William Crow. Uh, yes, Mr. Crow. What is it I can do for you? I'm sorry, officer. I, I wanted to speak to one of you yesterday, but I lost my nerve. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm the pub owner of the crow's nest. Really? I thought that Shirley was the owner. No, no, no. She has a habit of telling people that, but she just manages the place. Is that so? That's an American dude, right? Can I talk to you about something, officer? Uh, well, I... Uh, listen, I don't want Shirley to get into trouble, but I, I've got to get it off my chest. Go ahead. Well, I saw her do something yesterday whilst I was locking up. Go on. Oh, God. She, she kidnapped someone. something from your evidence room. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, there was I don't that. Care to find out, but that torn sheet. I can tell you where she put it. I think she, that that would be a good she idea. She put it in the kidnap room. You promise me she won't get into any trouble. I'll have a word with her and leave it at that. As long as you tell me where it is, I, I, I think we're all good, Mr. Crow. <sighs> Thank you, officer. You're a good man. Yeah. So, where do I look? The pillar that Officer Foster put his fist through the other night. You know the one? Uh, yes. And again, we're sorry about the mess. Hey, I'm a sore loser at darts myself. I just hope his hand's okay. Anyway, we, we put up a poster to cover the hole, so that's ah. where she hit it. Mr. Crew, could you do me a favor and stay on the line whilst I check? Uh, sure thing. So there's a poster covering a hole in a pillar. We just hit it right next next to where we put that kidnapped girl. Oh, it must be this. So Mr. Crow was right. Shirley stole this from the police evidence room. Ha ha! What on earth was she thinking? This does not look like the behavior of an innocent woman. I'd better tell him that I found it. She clearly ran over another dog. And that was its glass eye. What? You don't want to click on that? It says evidence. Uh, okay. <laughs> this, that was the torn off bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he thinks we're one of the police. Why wouldn't he think that? We sound like a police officer. Wait. Shirley's office door has a magnetic lock. And you... Mr. Crow was right. Shirley hid the police evidence. Is she involved? No, I saw her get attacked. Doesn't make sense. What on earth is she up to? Just clicking on the wrong part. Mr. Crow? You found it? Yes. Thank you very much for coming to us with this. You're welcome. And between you and me, I think Shirley's up to something. I don't want the pub's good name dragging through the mud if I'm right. Well, you did the right thing. Good. Oh, and she obviously found a way into your case rooms. Don't ask me how. If you need a place to store any evidence, then you can use my locker in the room just to your right. Not sure how safe it is for you, but... It's something. That's very kind of you. I think I will take that code. Uh, sure thing. It's 8068. You've been a great help to us, Mr. Crow. Thank you again. 
My pleasure, officer. And please, go easy on her. Good day, Mr. Crook. Good day. Um, there's only, uh, numbers on that code. Uh, I don't think O's gonna fit. Impersonating an officer. I'm going to burn in hell for that one. Yes! Yes! Aha! I have a beer coupler. That's the fuse board that Shirley's office note talked about. Now, how the hell do I shift this barrel? Right, I've done that. A spare pipe of some kind. I don't know how this shit works. But I think I do this. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> oh no! No! It's fucking awesome. Staff notice, lock all hazardous cleaning products in the cabinet in the gents' toilet after use the crow's nest. Hey, another token. That sounded like a good strong click to me. And, and, um, I'm a natural. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I think I'm emptying it? Am I emptying it so I can move it? Oh, uh, oh, 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 I think I know what to do. I think I need to turn it on here to actually empty it. I think we just connected it to the to the pump. This is the one that wasn't connected. Okay. And now it's empty. So now I should be able to move it.
Mazel tov. Fair enough. Victory achieved. Riverport stock delivery. JD Taylor's crate of six. Four. We got four of that. Pinwheel brew four. Green binding rope. Green binding rope. Uh, black binding rope. Riverport ruby. Field cider. Farrell's meat drink paste. What? Carried over from your order last week. You already paid, so the office knows to strike it from the total. Meat drink paste. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that a British thing? What's wrong with you? Pork scratching packs. Claw tooth hammer. Aqueous dihydrogen oxide tablets, which we saw. Order place 2606-1954. Today's date 2806-1954. So how do you guys... Uh, Blecko, how, what, how do you do the dates in, in Italy? Because really the way you should do it is day, month, year, right? Or... Yeah, okay. Or you could do... I think I think year, month, day also makes sense. The one that makes no sense to me is month, day, year. Is like... That doesn't make any sense to me at all. That's where it could start to get really confusing. This looks like the stock delivery I've just destroyed. I hope it wasn't too expensive. Hooked up the switch by your office door to ring the last order's bell. Very interesting. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but okay. Hmm. Now, let's see if those office doors have opened. If you think of it, most people say December 25th, 2021. Well, that's just because that's what people are used to doing, though. It doesn't mean that it's the best way to do it. We could say 25th, 2021, December. And if that's just the way we grew up doing it, that's the way we would say it. But it doesn't mean it makes the most sense. Yeah, a lot of, and, and a lot of people do say 25th of December, 2021. That's just that's just because we grew up saying it that way. And this is more for the number part. I mean, if you say the name of the month, then it's pretty clear what you're saying. How to spot a genuine fake. Never get ripped off again. Rob Scheister? His name is Scheister. Doesn't that mean, like, uh, someone that rips people off? That's ironic. Isn't the Scheister, uh, like a con artist? I already know Shelley's a thief. I don't feel bad about this at all. Take that stamp. Yeah, I know it's actually I think in Canada we have it pretty bad because there's we have kind of like people that do it the American way and people that do it the uh, European way. So it's like and then we have like the metric system, but also we tend to if you talk to someone, we tend to use like I would say, you know, like six foot two. And I would I use pounds for weight. I don't use kilograms. When describing so it's like we're stuck in like this weird mix of conventions you 
Yeah, I, we haven't really. Hmm. Shit, though. I thought I saw you come in here. Mr. Morgan. What on earth are you doing, Mr. Conway? I'm looking for Charlotte May. I told you I'd stop at nothing to find her. Indeed you did. And you breaking into Shirley's pub is your way of doing that? Wait, we got hit in the same spot on her head. You want to know. It's an M.O. I'm not sure I do. Though I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here, Mr. Morgan? Well, when I saw you come over here, I... I, I couldn't do it any longer. Do what? He's in on it! Let other people act for me. Oh. Sit on my bottom whilst my daughter... It's a father's responsibility to protect his child, and I... I should have... Mr. Morgan, not everybody is cut out for this. It's fully understandable if you're not. Well... Uh... You see what I mean? You can't bring yourself to say it. I'm a coward, and it's shameful. I don't think you're a coward. Then tell me what I can do. Let me prove it to you. Let me help in some way with... What is it you're doing, exactly? You can help by making your way back home and letting... Robert. Please. Very well. The flat, upstairs. Obviously, I can't search it myself, so perhaps you can shed some light up there. Thank you. And please, you only have to say if I'm putting you out. We will need to hurry, Mr. Morgan. Understood. I wonder if he's doing this because he thinks we're getting close. He's in on it. He's trying to hide the evidence. Oh, by the way... How is Shirley Downs? Has she been treated? Yes, the doctor said she was fine. She'll be released later today. Did she say who attacked her? No, she didn't say. Damn. Uh, well, uh, thank you for that, anyway. Well, actually, it couldn't have been him, right? Because we Conway. saw him. So what am I looking for up here? Uh, anything that looks interesting or out of the ordinary, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure if this counts but there's a kidnapped the girl here, door up here. <laughs> uh, what's so strange about that well it's locked there's no joke's never going to get old for me that is strange uh, anything else there's a panel on the side if that helps it looks like it might open somehow perhaps uh, leave it with me i'll find a way in Same stuff. Ha! Trilby available. T Trilby available. Book that Annabelle is waiting for is out. Birthday gift. Shirley is after something for Annabelle's birthday. Well, I don't have to guess what she wanted from him. Pub takings port with Mr. Crow. She has everyone convinced that she owns the place. She's a compulsive liar. Ration card. Something scribbled. Kidnap little girls. I think that's what that says. Shirley isn't very organized. Cousin Allie's christening. Find out where and what time. Annabelle's 30th birthday. Annabelle, 30 this year. Oh yeah, there was a safe. Something opened in this room. Frayed wires. This soldering iron might come in handy. Ha! 
Aha. Coin? Something opened in the room. Some kind of secret room? This is where I've been searching. The upstairs is in the top right. Junction 1, magnetic door. Junction K, Brigmore unit. Junction N, flat wall socket. So this is probably how we're going to open up the safe. Almost finished soldering the switches behind your desk. Feel free to use them for now. Switches. I've already found those. Last order button. Oh, I wonder if it has something to do with that last call. Maybe we can hook it up so the last call button opens up that to the safe or something. Junction M flat light, flat oven. It must, it must be this. Give me one minute, guys. I'm going to run to the, to the washroom. Um, and then we'll finish this off afterwards. I just don't want to uh, continue playing uh, when I need to pee. Because I'm going to rush through, not going to enjoy it, and also make ton of mistakes. So I'll be right back, guys. All right. Back. Last order button. Control panel. I don't quite know what to do with this yet. But I think I have an idea. Locked. Wonder if I can bend those to make more lock picks. Well, I also have this. Yeah, he's doing great. We're, he was just in here uh, for a uh, screwdriver. Okay. I'm trying to convince him to stream heavenly bodies with me. Because we got, we got heavenly bodies. Huh. What is this supposed to be? Interesting. Oh, the last order's bell. Hmm. Never miss any of my streams, ever. Ever. People really are moving on. Wait, is this just full of like, <laughs> what is this full of like ash? Dust? Let's see, can I open? Really? How do soldering irons work?
Oh, it says upstairs safe right there. Uh, glass shard? Huh, something, they, he said that something opened up. Maybe we opened something in the other, oh wait, hold on, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this diagram again. Delivery door. Maybe we have to turn the fuse box on. Also, looks like there might be something behind that painting. Oh, I can't leave yet. Okay, that's kind of good that I, I can't leave yet. Means that I have to do more here. But I don't want. Which is behind your desk? Control panel. So red goes to junction D delivery door. Junction C black or back bar wall socket. Junction B jukebox. Junction A snooker table light. And then it goes back. It goes to the delivery room. Connects to the fuse box. The yellow one goes to the last orders button. Last order bell. Front bar. Cashier till. To the fuse box. It looks like it goes someplace else that I can't see. And then the green one goes the flat light, flat oven, Brigmer light uh, unit, flat wall socket, magnetic door. And this is the safe here. And that's the green one, so... So shouldn't that open the thing upstairs? Cranfield! How you doing? Thank you so much. I'm confused. Uh, okay. I have regain entry. Initially is offset. I need to find some evidence worth breaking in for. Search Shirley's desk for anything of interest. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I thought I was stuck. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, there's soldering stuff. What's this then? Okay. Okay, that's what I was just saying. So I'm always missing something, right? I didn't even know I could check on this side. Because I, I went over here. There's two Fs right next to each other. There's some design issues as well with this game. Uh, just a little bit of like cleaning up here and there. Kind of hard to spot stuff sometimes. Let's see if the switches are connected. 
Mr. Morgan? Yes? Try that door again. I think I might have cracked it. It's open. How did you do that? I have my ways. Could you tell me what's inside? It's a kidnapped child! I thought as much. Probably the pub takings, I would imagine. Probably, yes. I'll keep it in mind. Let me know if you find a key for it. I will do. Mr. Conway? Yes? This all feels a little... Uh, well, now that I'm here, I feel a little uncomfortable doing this. Well, do you want to find your daughter? Uh, I'll keep looking. Okay. We've discovered nothing. What is happening? What is that doing? Okay. <sighs> oh, there's a timer. I must have not caught. Okay, okay, there's a timer. There's a timer. There's a timer. There's a timer. Oh, it's that. It's the painting. For the picture. I, I thought there would be a picture or something. I thought there would be something with this. Aha! This is from Lady Doa's home. She was right to hide her belongings under the floorboards. Yeah. Shirley has light fingers. And then I have... Mr. Morgan? You can call me Tony, you know. Of course, I'm sorry. There's a music box down here. It's identical to her sister's. Ah. Is there anything up there that I might be able to use as a pick? Okay. What would I need to look for? Uh, Bent dots! Well, something small enough to fit into a log. Like a small screwdriver? Smaller than that. Like a needle I can bend, or a, a piece of wire. Where would you like me to begin? Uh, bear with me one second. I should use the blueprint on Shirley's desk to guide Mr. Morgan. It has the whole of the upstairs mapped out. But we have a dart thing! Why don't we just bend it like we did with the other one? Maybe it's not small enough, I don't know. I'm ready to guide you. Are you ready to look? Okay, I'm ready. Uh, shelves. Are there any shelves? Not really, no. I'll tell you what, though. There's a birthday card up here, half written. What does it say? You want me to read it? We're in Shirley's yes. place. Uh, okay, it's for Annabelle. The, the gist of it is, she's turning 30, she's the best sister ever, mum would have been proud, and so on. Hmm, she loves her sister. Is the wardrobe unlocked? Looking now. Technically, he's doing the breaking Perfect. yet. Uh, can you throw it down right to now. me? Will do. Can you come to the stairs? I don't know, Credfield, I don't know if you've been watching this uh, from the beginning, but this is like probably I close ready. to the end. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Missed it. Uh, one moment. 
Yes. I've got it. Thank you. Let's use the same animation. Ah, uh, yes, our old friend. The lockpick. You watch the first part? Ah, uh, okay. This is the, uh, well... I've already been streaming for four hours, so we're getting we're getting into the we're getting into the end game. Whoa, whoa. F. Oh, good, just one. Yeah, this, that's a really cool mini game. This is the best one. Oh, <laughs> I was like, how do I open it? Uh, I can't read that. Sister's love. A sister's love is forever. A shoulder to lean on when or wherever. A love built to last, strong and steadfast. A sister's love is forever. Secrets. Good. Uh, that worked. Oh, good. Anything useful? I'll let you know. Anything on your end? Oh, that neck. No. Not yet. By the way, I, I saw you last night with the police. What was all that about? You mean the police haven't told you? Told me what? For God's sake, Catherine. It's probably nothing, but... I thought that Charlotte May may have been in Lady Doa's home. What? You saw my Charlotte? No, and I may very well have been mistaken. I don't understand. You... Why didn't the police tell me? They mustn't have found enough evidence. Or they didn't believe me. Do you think she was there? Perhaps. But I have no proof. I'm sorry. That's why I'm continuing my search. Is everything all right? Carry on, Mr. Conway. I assume that's for this. Another key! Yes! A diary! 20th of June, Annabelle's 30th birthday is this week. I can't believe it's been 30 years. Here I am running a pub I don't own, selling beer to punters I don't like. To future me, if you read this back and you're still stuck in Dahlia, bloody view, in 10 years, then do us both a favor. 23rd June, reminders, get posters made, contents. The safe upstairs is off limits to all staff, even if I'm not here, under no circumstances is anyone to open it. Get Adam the electrician to change locks on the office when doing wiring. Yeah, yeah, it uh, looks like my, my writing. Get Adam the electrician to uh, change the upstairs, very childish is what I'm saying. Change the upstairs safe combination lock code to Annabelle's birth year. Okay. Pull yourself together, woman. I think that safe might be important after all. Really? How does it open? Uh, I, I did look, but uh, give me a second. Uh, it, it takes a key of some kind, and there's a dial for a combination. Uh, do you have anything to use as a pick? So it's 1924. I gave the hanger to you. I, I can get another one, though. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to throw you something. All right. I'm at the stairs waiting. What am I throwing? <laughs> Shirley is regretting getting older and having little to show for her life. Her sister turning 30 is only reminding her about old she's getting. Story of my life! 
I threw a dart at him. Ow! <laughs> What am I throwing up? Oh. Apologies. I don't know my own strength. Uh, not to worry. I ah, my eye! Thank ah, you. why'd you throw a dart? I'll try and find a code. <laughs> what did I say? 1924? What about one, nine, two, one? I'm afraid not. Let's try six, uh, nine, six, uh, nine. <laughs> no good. <laughs> Let's try one, nine, two, four. We're in. Well, at least the combination worked. I still have no idea what to do with this thing you threw to me. We're going to pick that lock, Mr. Morgan. Broken! Okay. Uh, and how on earth does one start that? You see the hairpin? I do. Well, put that to one side. The other thing you have is called a tension wrench. Okay. Insert it into the lock near the bottom. I've done that. <laughs> now well, I'll read that in a second, Brokehead. requires some patience. Oh dear. Put the coat hanger above the wrench and put it to the back of the lock. We're going to navigate around the lock by feel. I'm not sure this is something I can do, Mr. Conway. Couldn't he yes, just you can. carry us up? Just try to be slow. Okay. Wouldn't that be faster? Uh, Brokehead says, what does a burnt pizza, a frozen beer, a pregnant woman all have in common? An idiot who didn't take it out in time? Okay, Brokehead. Okay, buddy. Okay. Calm down there. Calm oh, down there, Broke. Oh. I'm sorry it slipped out. Not to worry. Just start again. Mr. Conway, I really don't think I can do this. Trust me. Yes, you can. Fine, I'll try again. Ugh. Okay. The first one down. You need to move the pig to the back of the lock. There are probably around three or four things to pick before you're done. Keep oh going. God. Three or four. Thank you. Oh, I think I found it. Nope. Oh, this one's pretty easy. Second pin down. Keep going. You're doing well. On my blank. Jesus, God. Are you serious? I'm already holding down two buttons here. Got it. Who can now? Honestly, I am I not the best stream in the world. Who could pick a lock and and unmod Blyco at the same time? That's three down. Oh my god! You're almost there. Fuck. Thank you. Now I'm holding down three keys. Me. Oh, there we go. You guys hate me. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Unmodded. A. I don't believe it. You did it. It's open. Well done. Right. Uh, uh, let's take a look inside. Just to be clear, I had to hold down all those keys at the same time while I was doing that. My dear God. I think. This might be what you were looking for. 
Oh, is, is it like a mallet? Maybe dried blood too. Does this mean? I don't understand. What's the matter? It's the weapon with blood on it. Did you know this was here? I can assure you I did not. Oh, it's and the what does uh, this mean, Mr. Conway. Spy it's a spyglass. It could mean anything. It's best not to jump to conclusions. From the other house? At least until I've had a chance to examine it further. Let me take a look. Oh, the glass shard fits. Perfect fit. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? You promised you'd find her. Mr. Morgan, let's find out together. 